40s today. Marty Snyder is uh, serious about delivering the accurate forecast. He's also pretty <laughs> serious about working out. A workout. So this morning we are learning about his routine. He and Ashley Dorsbacher, along with uh, Marty's wife, still there, right? At uh, World's <laughs> Gym in Rochester. Is Alyssa still there? Yeah, Alyssa's with she us. Is, she's yeah. still here. Yeah, she, she's she been going this whole time, man. She, you do not take a break. You, you were like, go, 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 go. Yeah, but you, this is, this is your every day. You guys do this. But yeah. it, how did you get started? Because this, I mean, you didn't start out by just doing it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, start off for me. Alyssa said, well, you know, you can kind of lose five pounds here. I'm like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I, I went, I got into the gym, started, I mean, I went back in college, uh -huh. you know, as a lot of people did. Yep. And then you kind of back off from it for a little while. So for me, I got back into it and I'm like, I'm going to do this. It was in the winter and it's the best time to start. Like, especially this time of year, really? you have the whole winter to prepare for the next summer. So you got time on your side. Oh. Rather than people say, oh, it's springtime, I'm getting ready for summer. Yeah. It's kind of too late it's too then. late at that yeah. point. Yeah. So how did you get involved in seeing him do it? Right. So he only, he only had five pounds to lose. I had more like 100 pounds to lose. Well, she had kids. <laughs> she had, yeah. Different situation. Yeah. So yeah, I kept seeing him come home and I'm like, wow, I don't want to be the fat wife sitting there. <laughs> like, why are you married to this thing? <laughs> so I started working out at home because it was a lot less intimidating than a real gym. And, then I started going, um, I had a free membership, so I started going twice a week. Yeah. And I started to really fall in love with it, so. Yeah. And it just became really um, a passion, so. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. It turns yeah. into a lifestyle. You, you get regimented about it. We do it usually about five times a week. Okay. You know, sometimes there are family responsibilities, of course, that you have to miss a day here or there. But yeah. I think that's the key is if you miss one day, don't let that right. mess up your whole routine and, and the whole big picture of it. Get right back into it. How hard is it, though, to find the time? Or is it hard to find the time with kids and work and balancing that and, and your workouts? Yeah, it really has to be a priority. And you have to say, you know, you're doing it for you. And um, it's a good time to get away from the kids and just have some you time. <laughs> Not it's good time to some steam. For me, yeah. I go right after work. Okay. Or sometimes in between shows. That'll be my lunch break. I'll finish up the morning show. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a little snack and then run right out the door, get to the gym, finish up, come right back, do the noon show if I have to do the noon show. So it's, it's all in trying to time it out. Yeah. Use that time to the uh, best of your advantage. Prioritizing, like you right. said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we did a little bit of uh, over here now. So now we what did some we, shoulders. We did some shoulders and, and some squats and yeah. I... Full and disclosure, I thought I was a, I was not going to get up when I went You did down great. This you did great. Morning. And that's a key. <laughs> Stick it with us. Stay in it. Now so, we're going to do some back. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do okay. is you come up, you dress, you dress the bar. Okay. Uh, have your hands about shoulder length apart. Okay. And we're going to use an underhand grip where you're going to go under the bar and bring it up. Okay. And so, like uh, shoelaces under the bar. Is that right? Is that yeah. what I, Okay. Yeah. And then, okay, so come down with your, bend your knees. Okay. Make sure you don't lift with your back, but come okay. down shoulder length apart with these, with your hands. Okay. Grip and then lift with your legs. And now what you want to do is bring the bar up to your belly button. Okay. And this is going to work your upper back. Bring it up. Like this. And back, yeah. And squeeze. And feel it right at the very top of your back. I like to, in, in some sets, I'll hold it like this for just a little bit. Yeah, you get to the top of that, you just hold it for a little bit, and then come down. There are a lot of different variations, and I think that's the other key, is that you change it up a little bit every single time. You know, you may do a negative where you come down really slow, and then bring it back up fast. But there are a lot of different ways you can change it up. It's the same exercise, but you can do it different ways yeah. to keep it new, and you can use your muscles in very different ways, and that's what helps to keep it fresh. And, where, and I'm working here and your back. Right, where, a lot of it's back, back here and upper back. You're coming up, you're squeezing back there. Like Squeeze you it. Like a penny back there. Feel that pinch in the back. Yeah. That's what you want. Cool. That's when you're activating that muscle. I can, like, do you, have, do you feel it after? Oh, after yeah. Are you, Sometimes during, you know, you'll feel like that lactic acid getting in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. And I think that's the key. You're breaking the muscle down in the gym. You're not building muscle in okay. the gym. And we're going to talk about nutrition in a little bit as well. That's the other key. You need those building blocks to build the muscles back up that you break down in the gym. Yeah. So that's the other key that we're going to talk about. He did the tease for me. It's like he, he's on TV and knows what to do. So coming up next, we're talking about nutrition and what you put in your body as well as what you get out. So you know what, it let's, all works together. Let's, let's have him, because the weather's coming up next. Could you ask Marty, please, to tease the weather forecast with Mark McLean? Oh, tease the weather? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about this? I'm just going to say snow. <laughs> it's coming up. And Mark McClain has to <laughs> tell no, he's, you. No, he's got to do the clean. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right no, back we'll with that. <laughs>